Look around your house. Can you spot the dangers right there facing your kids? The Consumer Product Safety Commission says every two weeks, a child is killed by a piece of furniture, a TV, or an appliance falling on them. It happened to Connor DeLong. It sent his family reeling, but from his death, his family has not stopped for one second to fight for change. Today is the day his tragic death brings them a step closer to that change. 10 Investigates Courtney Robinson shows you how Connor is saving your children. This should not be his fate. He should be here. Mother's Day, two years ago, his bedroom dresser tipped over and killed him. His life was stolen from us. Is there anger? Oh, there's definitely anger. At what? Um, there's anger that this is even a thing in our country, in a country that can do so much better, that we are failing our children. A tragedy Megan DeLong learned happens a lot. She met other parents with the same gut-wrenching grief. Their pain has turned into this, the Sturdy Act. Right now, furniture makers use voluntary standards to test dressers. Connors met those voluntary standards. The Sturdy Act mandates required standards and stricter testing. Would the Sturdy Act have saved Connor's life? The Sturdy Act would have helped to save Connor's life, yes, because for one major reason, it will force for dynamic testing. This is a new kid's dresser. It meets the voluntary standards. But what about the standards in the Sturdy Act? 60 pounds of weight, multiple drawers open, tested on carpet. But these parents want dynamic testing. They don't want just one drawer open. They want more. They want real life experience. So let's see what happens when we open two drawers. What about three? Whoa, yep, yeah, yeah, that tips. There are enough deaths that we know something is wrong and needs to be fixed. Florida Congressman Darren Soto sponsored the Sturdy Act. I asked if this would raise the price of furniture. He says no, and furniture makers need to do better and be accountable. Even if it is inexpensive, it should be safe. Without question, we can't, we shouldn't have the decision between whether a child dies because of a faulty dresser um, turn on the fact that uh, you need a more expensive dresser to keep your kids safe. That, that doesn't make sense in, here in the United States of America. The head of the CPSC says right now, some furniture manufacturers refuse to even meet the minimal voluntary standard. Connor's mom says that is one of many reasons why furniture is killing American children. And I feel like we are screaming at the top of our lungs, this is a crisis. The Sturdy Act is appropriate. You know, we want sturdier dressers. We, we want something that isn't going to kill our children. We want to be able to close our eyes at night and know that when we wake up, our children will still be alive. That's what we want. There's a similar bill that's in the Senate, but that bill has yet to be heard. Uh, but Courtney, it is still very important as parents. We still need to anchor our furniture. And I cannot underscore that enough. You still have to anchor that furniture because this applies to dressers. Even if this were to pass the Senate and become a law, there would still be millions of dressers all across America that are unsafe, that will tip over. And that's why Megan started Connor's Legacy Foundation. She hands out these kits. She sends them out to homes across America so that you can anchor furniture. This is really a message from Congress that we can do better. We can build safer, reliable, untippable furniture and it is possible.